Hello, my name is Chris Knockelman. I am Kenton County Judge Executive, and we are in the process of doing these updates of what's going on in Kenton County with regard to the corona pandemic. Uh, we did this a few days ago and had a f uh, some questions we wanted to cover. And in particular, um, one question that came from Carla with regard to uh, drive-through testing that was potentially uh, being proposed. Uh, they're not, there is no plan yet to, to do that, and the governor is working with the medical community and his medical director in the state to evaluate that. The key to it is, though, very simply is this. If you feel like you need to be tested, you need to reach out to your primary care physician, and they'll make that evaluation. There are not sufficient tests for everyone who just wishes to be tested to be uh, presented with one, that whether it be by drive-through or just stopping into your the hospital or to your medical provider. So the key is reach out to your medical provider and they will make that decision as to whether or not you're, you're tested. In the meantime as well, if you're feeling sick uh, and you're communicating with your, uh, your doctor, you want to stay uh, quarantined, stay, stay within your home so that uh, you're not uh, spreading that uh, disease, whatever you might potentially have. Secondarily, we have, a, so we have a question from Kim, and she's asking about uh, the potential for PPE or personal protection equipment if, you're, if you have other health issues, whether it be suffering through cancer treatments or another issue, uh, how do you get personal protection equipment? The very simple answer to that is it's a, agreed today that N95 or the higher level PPE, we're presenting that with our, our health care providers and first responders. Uh, there is a way for all of us to either make them ourselves, and you're hearing this uh, now being presented by both of our governors, to actually make them, and or if you have a need, uh, to reach out again to the, your health care provider, and they can make that discussion of whether, decision of whether or not you'd actually need to have that or not. Um, so the lower level need for a mask, and this is one that actually one of our, uh, someone who I know has made them, uh, they can be made right at your home, and if it's something that's higher level, your doctor will be able to present that to you. Another last question we had is from Linda, and she, her question was about unemployment checks. Um, and as the state runs the unemployment system through state and federal dollars, uh, as you can very simply know, they're overwhelmed, right? So uh, I would encourage everyone who is looking for that unemployment check to come in uh, or for the, uh, the funds that are being sent in from the federal government, they, that is coming. Uh, but the good news is I think if you communicate with both that office and reach out by phone or email, uh, you're going to get the answer you need. Secondarily, it is going to be coming. Uh, it just We all need to be patient. And I would encourage those who are working through rents, uh, car payments, mortgage payments, et cetera, to, to communicate with those providers so that they know. And that most of them I've, that I've seen are giving uh, uh, time frames that you can make those payments in a way that meets your family budget. Another question we had is from Sam, and this is a really good one, that uh, he's new to the community and did not have a primary care physician, so that he's reached out to try and find that. Today, um, with the St. Elizabeth Health community as well as other private uh, doctors, we would encourage you when you reach out uh, to ask them if they would have a televisit, a telehealth visit at first. Uh, that's a first step in, in communicating whether or not you need to come in to them. If you're sick and you ha do not have a primary health care physician, when you reach out to the hospital, uh, they're going to be able to decide and talk to you by telehealth whether or not that's something you need to come in. So first of all, we all need to make sure we're reaching out proactively to make sure we have our primary health care uh, provider. And then secondarily, do ask them if you, and be willing to do a telehealth. Uh, most physicians today are doing that, and uh, I think that can be a really good first step to keeping you safe in this pandemic time frame. Now, as of April 7th, I'd like to share with you some of the data we have about both the at the hospital and what's going on in Kenton County with regard to corona. Uh, first of all, uh, presently there are 90 uh, ICU beds at St. Elizabeth, and, which can be ramped up and expanded to 193. And presently, uh, there are 32 patients using ventilators uh, at St. Elizabeth, and uh, again, we all pray and hope that those individuals get through this as quickly as possible, get back to their families. In Kenton County, we have 70 uh, confirmed cases uh, with sadly eight deaths. Uh, those numbers are expected to increase, uh, but the key to that is this. We can continue to do the social distancing and take the measures individually and in, as a community to minimize the spread of corona and COVID-19. How do we do that? We know we've heard it. Stay six feet plus away from each other. Limit the number of times that we go to the grocery. Make sure that we're not 
uh, engaging with neighbors and uh, is the way that we normally might have done. But we've heard about the idea of the having masks, not N95, not the ones that our healthcare providers need to have, but something we might make at home. This was made uh, by a friend of mine who uh, gave me one, which I will be using when I'm out, if I'm out in, in a, a close proximity to other people or uh, even within an, uh, an area, if I have to go to the grocery, etc. Um, but these are not a substitute for social distancing. This doesn't give us the carte blanche uh, uh, ability to just run into uh, any store, et cetera. So we've got to continue to, 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 to take the measures necessary to keep each other safe. And to that end, uh, we've got to know that we're also going to get through this. Uh, this is April 7th, uh, and uh, things are going to change daily. The, the data changes daily. The information changes daily. We're here to work for you and on behalf of you at Kenton County. So in the meantime, be safe uh, and be well.